This is Veronica Weber, staff photographer of the Palo Alto Weekly. On a recent Saturday afternoon, mechanics, engineers, environmentalists, and electric vehicle enthusiasts of all kinds gathered outside Palo Alto High School for the 2009 annual Electric Car Rally sponsored by the Silicon Valley chapter of the Electric Auto Association. The event featured new production models, a few obscure vehicles more familiar in places like Europe and China, and formerly gas-powered cars the owners have converted to run on electricity. I stopped by the rally to ask a few of these do-it-yourselfers to tell me about making the switch to electric. So six years ago, um, I was in high school here, and I saw this kit car um, in the Pali Auto Shop class. And I asked the auto shop teacher about it, and he said, sure, do you want it? I'll give it to you for 100 bucks. So I bought the kit car for 100 bucks, and got a VW bus for 200 bucks, and spliced them together. So tell me about your passion, how it kind of got started. <laughs> Um, He's my grandkid by choice. Yeah. <laughs> so I lived a block away from this guy, um, who I'd always see running around in his electric vehicles. And one day I went over there with a little radio flyer um, pole cart full of wood and asked him, Bob, what can I build with this? And uh, we started working on a, my first little electric go-kart. And that's what really got me inspired and get me going on it. And I mean, I've always had a passion for just making things, you know, doing wiring and circuitry. But um, once I started being able to do something real with it, um, actually moving things with it, it got me, got me really interested. Uh, electric vehicles uh, run off of batteries. And as you can see here, we have two of uh, the 12 batteries that this car runs on. There's two up front here. There's six where the back seat was, and there's four behind that. They're in series, which means they're wired together in series, which gives them 144 volts. That 144 volts is then powers an electric DC motor, which is in the back. This is the motor. It is powered by the batteries. The batteries um, determine the speed and range that you will have. It's controlled by a controller. This tells the motor, uh, you know, varies the voltage going to the motor and the current going to the motor, which then controls your speed. A um, few other basic components. This is the throttle. When you, when you touch the gas pedal, it pulls that. That then tells the controller how fast the motor will go. Very simple, basic components, batteries, controller, motor. I'm Bill Palmer. In about 1963, my son wanted to, me to help him build a car that he could learn to drive. In. So I said, sure, I'll help you build a car, but let's make it electrically powered. Being an electrical engineer, I thought it was about time in 63 that we use electricity much more widely for transportation. So in four years, we built an electric car. Well, it's fun to drive, but it has limitations. <laughs> Mainly, it only goes about 25 miles an hour. It'll probably go 50 miles on the charge, so I've never run the batteries all the way down. 25 miles an hour, I get tired of driving long before I run out of battery.